Hey everyone, Kaylin here and welcome back. Today I'm going to be going over the layers and cut by layers feature available in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition and above. So last week we went over the nesting feature. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up in the cards. You can do this in the basic edition and I'll show you how later on in the video. So what is layers and cut by layers? Layers help to organize your work if you're working with multiple materials or designs. Cut by layer lets you cut each respective layer, adding pause buttons in between to easily swap out your material, essentially creating a better workflow. So we're first going to go over layers. Okay, so I have a very basic design here, which consists of two colors that I'm going to cut out of vinyl. All I did was trace over the text, group that together, added some bats and group the bats together just to make the video as simple as possible. I'm first going to open up my layers panel, which can be found on the right hand side. It looks like two documents stacked against each other and you'll see we already have our first layer. To expand this menu, we can click on the plus icon and that will bring up our different objects underneath our first layer. If we click on the object, Silhouette will highlight the associated object on our cutting mat. I forgot to mention that Silhouette will give these objects generic names such as text, polygon, etc. We can also do this in reverse. If we click on the shape or object on our cutting mat, Silhouette will highlight the object underneath our first layer. We can change the name of the objects underneath our layer by double clicking on the object. Because I'm cutting this out of vinyl, I'm going to rename it to the cut of vinyl I'll be using. As you can see, I put this in brackets. We can also add new layers by clicking on the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner. If you want to delete a layer, you can click on the subtraction symbol in the bottom right hand corner. We can then rename our layers by double clicking on each layer. I'll rename my layers to black and purple. And now we can sort our objects underneath our layer by clicking and dragging. I'll drag the purple object and put it underneath my purple layer. And that's the basics of the layer panel in Silhouette Studio. Now we're ready to cut this out on our machine using the cut by layer feature. I'm going to close the layers panel because we don't need that anymore. I'm going to go over to my send panel and then I'm going to click on the layers tab. And as you can see, we have our two respective layers. You want to pay attention to the various action tabs. The first tab is our tool. Depending on your material, you'll use either tool one or two. For my design, I'll be cutting it out of vinyl. So I'll leave mine on tool one. The on and off tab lets you choose which layer you want to cut. In this case, I want all my layers to be cut. Under the Weld tab, you can select if you want your design to be welded or not. The Layers tab will have all the layers that you've created and then the Material tab is where you can select your material. I already have a material set up for when I'm cutting vinyl, so I'll select that material. The action tab is where you'll select whether you want your machine to cut or sketch. I'll select cut for my design. You can select which blade you'll be using underneath the carriage tab. For my design, I'll be using my auto blade, so I'll select auto blade. If you're using a ratchet blade, you can select the manual blade. 
Now we can add a pause button in between our layers. So I'll click on the add pause button. Your machine will pause between each layer, allowing you to change your material between layers. Okay, so in the beginning of the video, I did say that you'd be able to do this in the basic edition of Silhouette Studio. So I'm just gonna show you how you can do that. So if we just um, ungroup these bats, you'll just take your design and then you'll group every color that you want together. And then if you go over to the send panel, instead of clicking on layer, you could just click on fill. And then basically you'll be cutting by color. So it's basically the same concept as the layer feature, except it involves color. So that's one way that you could do it. You could also add a pause button in between. So you don't need to have the designer edition or business edition to do this. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this design out. And that wraps this video up. Please don't layer decals the way that I did. That was a perfect example of how you shouldn't layer vinyl. But I just wanted to show you how the cut by layer feature works. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or video suggestions that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments section. I will be uploading some craft videos soon, which I'm really excited about. So consider subscribing if you haven't already. It motivates me to keep creating content and it also helps support my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So